like to talk briefly about architecture viewpoints. And it's only brief because, um, as I mentioned before, the, the, uh, the concept of a viewpoint seems to be fairly new in uh, architecture or software architecture. And it's not that well explained, so it's a little bit difficult to get a hold of uh, exactly what it is they're talking about. I've got several different, um, different interpretations. However, let's look at the viewpoint of the definition. From the ISO standard, the 42010 standard, a, view, a work product establishing the conventions for the construction, interpretation and use of the architecture views to frame specific system concerns. Well, it might technically be correct, but it doesn't tell me what it is. Now, there are many existing practices express architectures through a collection of models. Uh, typically, these models are further organized into cohesive groups called views. So we have the conceptual view, the logical view. Um, it could be other different views as well. A viewpoint is a way of looking at systems. A view is a result of applying a viewpoint to a particular system of interest. Oh, okay. Where I have seen it um, applied, a viewpoint, you could look at a system or, or um, uh, isolate, uh, identify the architecture of a system from the viewpoint of security or from the viewpoint of data management or from the viewpoint of um, uh, usability or, or user functions. Um, all of these different viewpoints. In uh, buildings, it's probably a little easier to relate because we would have the plumbing viewpoint. So in, in, in buildings, you'll have um, a complete set of drawings that deal with the plumbing, or a set of drawings to do with the electrical, or a set of drawings to do with the air conditioning, and uh, because I've actually worked on construction buildings uh, with the reinforcing, I know that there are uh, drawings to do with where exactly where the reinforcing rods go, um, and there probably are several other uh, of them. The whole idea of a, a viewpoint is that there is too much information to put all in the one architecture diagram. If you did that, it would simply be confusing and overloaded. It is better to split the information out into different um, different uh, viewpoints to satisfy different uh, readership. So as near as I can understand, that is the whole point of, of viewpoints, and you will have several different views to make up that one viewpoint. So. A second attempt to, to find architecture viewpoints, an architecture viewpoint frames one or more system concerns held by stakeholders, which is fair enough, use security, usability, that kind of thing. And examples from the rational um, architecture, ADS, architecture something, um, architecture design system probably, there's a requirements viewpoint, a design viewpoint, a realization viewpoint, a verification viewpoint, which is um, stages in the life cycle of the uh, software architecture. They put it in pictures. So the architecture description, specification, views and viewpoints. We have the requirements viewpoint, which can be expressed in the uh, domain view, the use case view, user experience view. We have the design view viewpoint, um, which has got the logical view and the process view. I would say the design viewpoint would probably be the uh, the, the problem model, the business viewpoint. This this is this is the the system as it's seen uh, by the business. In the absence of technical implementation details that are imposed on it by the fact that we're going to be using a computer, then there's a realization viewpoint. This is where uh, we have a look at the system from the point of view of uh, what are the consequences of implementing this in a particular computing environment. Are we using multiple servers or big machines or small machines? Or what are we doing? And verification viewpoint is the, the test view of it all. So there is, there is a, an explanation of viewpoints there. So in summary, uh, a viewpoint is a perspective along with the conventions for the construction, interpretation, and use of architecture views to frame specific system concerns. So the note I've got there is, imagine looking at the system from